Okay, um, I hate Kieran White. I'm, I'm just gonna put that out there. I hate Kieran White with a passion. But... Is this actually, like, a really good matchup? I think this actually is, like, a really good Boswell matchup. They got no Intimidate. They got... No... I, I'm just gonna bring the Buzzwall. Uh, we're gonna go Grim Snarl, Buzzwall, uh, Reggie Alecki, or I could actually lead off... Do I want to lead off Reggie Alecki, Grim Snarl? Actually, I'm gonna go Reggie Alecki, Buzzwall, Grim Snarl in the back. Nah, you know what? It, it's more responsible to do it this way. Buzzwall in the back, and we're gonna go... Let's go Zacian. Yeah. All right. Papa Swish, thank you so much for the sub. That that just showed up. My my sub counter's behind, but I saw that in the chat earlier. Thank you so much. Yeah, why are these just not showing up? It took it took stream elements a minute to load up. Kiram and Amoongus. Um It's a little bit of a of a tough call. I have to keep it real with you guys. It's a little bit of a tough call. Do I Dynamax my Regieleki and go for Fake Out Airstream, but then lose immediately? Or do I do something more productive? I would say if I'm just going to get max ground moved, it's in my best interest to... Dude, Buzzwell, you better eat this ground move like it's cake, dude. You better... If you don't, you're going in the box. You better eat this like it's cake. Rhesus Puffs, actually. Please, eat it up like Rhesus Puffs. Because he's got a max ground, right? Oh, he's going for the Protect. Yo, free win? Sash removed? Tweet ratioed? Airstream secured? Light screen up! If this doesn't work, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> if, if it's Koba Berry and not Sash, I will cry in suboptimal. I'm gonna cry in suboptimal if this, if this isn't uh, Sash. Why did you not bounce into Amoongus, then fake out Amoongus? Um, the reason I didn't do that last turn is because I get a lot more value out of Dynamaxing my... Buzzwall, to be honest, um, and that's that's pretty much the reason. Obviously, I can get Max Wormwinded here, but I have a feeling they think that that's gonna Oko, and it shouldn't. So I should be safe to do this. Buzzwall's the Broly of Bug Pokemon. Big true. All right, let's get this light screen up. Hey, thanks to the follow, Mu Melu. We go for the Rage Powder. As expected, they didn't Spore, which means I think we probably just win here. If I secure a KO, I think we win. Hailstorm. Oh, he didn't Worm Wind. Look at this. Oh, come on. Can you guys stop critting me? <laughs> Alright, that's pretty unfortunate. If I don't knock this out right now, I'm gonna be a bit upset because I definitely should have lived... I definitely should have taken so much less from that. Oh, and it is it is Koba. It is Koba. That is unfortunate. This Buzzwell has been crit so many times, it's no longer funny. And I know funny. And I know funny. Uh, luckily for me, that should be in range of Max Bug and... Yeah, I can go for my max bug move on the on the Amoongus, and I'm gonna go for a spirit break on the Kiram. That's that's pretty that's pretty unfortunate that I got crit right there, because the damage I would have taken is so much lower. So let's max Flutterby. Uh, and we'll also go for the spirit break. And if I'm faster, there's like a two percent chance I might live. Two. But that's it. La Purple Ryan and Hopeful Blue, thank you so much for the subs. Yeah, Buzzwell's definitely faster than Kiram now. Um, this bug move will decrease the power of this. They're going to go for a Protect. That's fine. As long as they decrease this damage, I'm kind of cool with it. 
My Grimmsnarl might be faster at plus one. I'm actually pretty uncertain about that. He's not faster. Okay, we're dropping to this. Yeah, that crits. Oh, no way. No way. They're, they throwing? Are they throwing here? Give me that. Okay. Um, nothing takes an airstream. Buzzwell, however, is in grave danger of going down, like, immediately. Uh, but I can airstream spirit break and decrease the damage from that Curum again. Hopeful Blue, thank you so much for gifting the sub. Yeah, no, th th that crit, if that crit loses me the match, I'm gonna throw my switch about, you know, two millimeters per hour downward into the dock because I because it's quite expensive and I don't want to break it. But I will throw something. Bottle cap. This bottle cap is going to be my victim if I lose this match. And thank you for gifting another sub, Hopeful Blue. I appreciate you. Alright. So I should be faster than this Curum now. And then go for another Spirit Break. I get a Beast Boost. Dude, Buzzwell, if you dry, if you survive this turn, I'm going to give you a big kiss on your Probiscus. Is that what it's called? A Probiscus? The thing on his, on his face? I'm going to give him a big kiss on his Probiscus. Tank it. Tank it, you mad lad. Okay. <laughs> I'm over. We're fine. We're fine. Pretty sure we're still in a very good winning position. Um, because I can just go Zashi in here. And I am faster than that um, Kiram, so I can Spirit Break it to KO. At the very least, he flexed. Craig of Canada, is there a paste or rental code of the team? Uh, not yet. I'm keeping it, even though you can easily find the info for the team in videos and stuff. I'm just going to keep it under the table for now. Um, because I want to probably use this at a tournament. Okay. Um, there's really no reason not to double attack the Curum. If I'm being very real with you guys, there's no reason not to double attack the Kyurem. Because he's going to fake out one of my Pokemon, and then the other one will KO the Kyurem. I just got wrecked by Parish Song Shadow Tag. That sounds sad. My condolences. Fake out onto you. I'm going to KO this thing, and I actually get a pretty decent turn here. Because uh, this should do it. Yep, and now I get a Reflect off, which is going to be very useful for the end game. It's going to be very nice to see on stream at the regional. Last time I went to a regional, I had 10,000 subs. I'm triple that now, and that's pretty big for the VGC community. So, who knows, maybe I'll get priority pick for round one before I head off to loser tables, you know? Before I head off to the losers tables, maybe I'll be able to get on stream. Whatever you do team fixing for us, if there's anyone you don't want to fix your team, it's definitely me. I'm just going to keep that very real with you guys. You do not want me to fix your team, because it would not get fixed. It would not. <laughs> it would become actively worse. Okay, um, let's actually... Do play rough onto you and a reflect. Because I'm just gonna get I'm just gonna get grassy glided here and I won't live. But if I reflect, there's a slight chance. Yeah, it's not team fixing, it's team funny. I'll make your team funny. Alright, I just have to connect this and I should live whatever. 
Or I just, you know, annihilate the Pokemon entirely because my crit's stronger than yours. Got him. Got him. It's not easy being me. <laughs> it's not easy getting bailed out from games like that. Yeah, you're gonna come to me with like a six Pokemon team with optimal movesets and like great abilities, great items. Everything's gonna be perfect. And then what I'm gonna do is delete the last Pokemon and then add a Grap Locked and then add another one, making it illegal. You go boing. Do people uh, on in-person VGC display their plushies every round? Or is it just for featured match? Just curious. People tend to bring their plushies to whatever match they're playing. It, they don't they don't have any rules against you bringing a plushie and just putting it on the table for a featured match. If someone has a plushie, they're likely showing it off every game. With that, here is a fun piece of VGC lore that I need to make a video on. There's this dude, and I forget his name, but he in 2018 or 2015 or something um, brought a Mega Charizard Y, I believe it was, to a tournament, uh, but he put a Mega Charizard X plushie on his table because there's no rule against that. So people would look at his team and team preview and be like, Mega Charizard X, but it was Y, and that would always like be right. so useful. So this <laughs> is, um, oh wait, didn't this, I think this is from the Taiwan regional, or the Thailand regional, my bad. Yeah, this is from the Thailand regional. Um, it really hates Calyrex. So yeah, uh, we'll take the last like 45 to 30 minutes to watch some games and talk about it. I quite like Calyrex Grim Snarl on lead. Uh, Buzzwill in the back isn't bad. And we will bring our Zacian, I think. Or do we? I believe in the Buzzwill. I believe. Do you guys believe? I believe. We have to bring the Buzzwill into this game. Yeah. And the Zacian. There we go. I'm going to wear a shirt that says, My Rillaboom is Choice Banded, bro. But I actually bring a Choice Band Rillaboom just to throw them off. So you, you just do it. You just expose yourself right there. <laughs> Buff Bug and Lefty's Horse. Yes. See, Buzzwool does feed on Gothitelle. My concern here isn't the Gothitelle, but rather the fact that uh, they could lead off Gothitelle Landorus, and then I lose. That's my that's my issue. Uh, luckily, this is kind of the lead I wanted. I have a decent amount of speed invested in my Grimmsnarl, so I should be faster than theirs. Not many Grimmsnarl run this much speed as me. So let's go for the Fake Out as well as the Will-O-Wisp. Uh, that'll allow my Grimmsnarl to likely live this hit, um, and then I can go for a Reflect. Oh yeah, Incineroar 2, sorry, Incineroar 2. There we go. Be gone. Burn. Perfect turn. Could not get better, in fact. Could not get better. Behemoth Blade? More like Schmidt, Schmimineth, Schmidt. Shut up. Pathetic. A pathetic attack. <laughs> wear a t-shirt that says ally switch <laughs> dude that's evil if someone wore a t-shirt that said ally switch the mental like just the mentality of their opponent would change entirely they'd be like what do i do all right i have to be careful in case this is like foul player sucker punch so i'm just gonna switch out and go right into the buzzy when is incineroar three um he's getting a mega in gen 8 Here's the trick. What's it gonna be, Iron Ball? I really wanted my Assault Vest, but I suppose it doesn't matter here if I get off my refl if I get off my light screen. Uh, on the bright side, Airstream's kind of useless now, so I don't have to worry about choosing that ever. Um, I think we're just gonna start clicking Knuckle. I think that'd be a fun use of our time. What do you say, guys? Do we Knuckle? I think we Knuckle. Let's go ahead and Max Knuckle you. Um, and I'm gonna go for the light screen, and everything's gonna be good. Because if the Lando comes in, I would very much prefer to not have to deal with that. 
Oh, don't be Lando there. It's strutting. That's got to be Lando. He's a he's he's a well-known strutter. You got to be careful with that dude. He does strut. He is known for that. All right. Uh, we have entered a situation where we do have to airstream next turn. Lando, notorious strutter. Yeah, so next turn we actually airstream the Lando because we should eat whatever behind Reflect once. And we're going to get in our um, Calyrex Shadow and go for a Will-O-Wisp. Cool, he Behemoth Bladed exactly what I needed him to. And the fact that Grimmsnarl goes down here is actually super huge because I get to Will-O-Wisp this Lando pretty much for free. And back at neutral. Thank you. That's resisted? That's resisted in minus one? That's not a crit. That literally isn't a crit. What? I've never been surprised at my own damage. I've always been surprised at my opponent's damage because I'm bad at this game. However, I will not complain here. Buzzwell is gaming here. I, I regret to inform my opponent. He's gaming. All right. Uh, here we airstream. If we connect this Will-O-Wisp, I'm pretty confident we just win the match. Yes, we are lefties Rex. Okay, cry about it. I'm going to get plus one from this KO. Dude, there's no way. There's no way, right? I'm going to get plus one from this, right? I just knuckled the next turn still. If this KOs, I'm going to be so happy. Pathetic. Oh wow, that didn't do nearly as much. What? Okay, hear me out. There's a better way to do this. Um, there's a better way to deal with this. Let's go ahead and max quake you. And also... Do I go for the sub? I'm going to go for a sub. It did fade. Okay, I was kind of... I was a little hopeful it wouldn't fade there, to be honest. I can't lie. We're gonna get this KO. Get a beast boost. Very big. Do I live the hit? Do I live the spirit break? Come on. <gasps> oh! <laughs> There's no way! There's no way that just happened! Dude! There's no way! <laughs> I'm gonna- I'm gonna take that thing from him. You have no options. You are getting burned on your Landris and you are gonna like it. I regret to inform you, you're, you're getting burned on your on your Calyrex. Or do I Snarl here? Or not your Calyrex, your Landorus. Do I Snarl here? I might need to Snarl here. I think I Snarl here. Because what do I have in the back? I still got the Zashin in the back. Dude, I Snarl here. And I take this KO. Do I? Uh, maybe I go for the Kyogre, actually. 
No, I need to deal with you. Yeah, okay. So now, uh, Bozable should eat this pretty easily. Water Spout, come on, buddy. Oh, yeah. Dude, he lost his AV, but he has not lost his, uh, his ability to be disgustingly, disgustingly bulky. All right, now let's get this plus one and some health back. Thank you. Okay. John has been pranked. Prank him, John. I have. He's been pranked. Uh, issue is I think we just lose to- <laughs> I think we lose to Airstream Lando unless we crit. We have to crit. Lando, Notorious Strutter. Er, I mean, maybe we don't. It- Maybe we don't. Maybe we don't need a crit. Uh, it, it's it's probably a roll. Here I. What am I at? On my buzzwall. I'm at plus one, plus one, plus one, but I am carrying an iron ball, so I'm gonna be slower. Let's leech life just in case. And we'll be here with Blade Lando. Look at him. He hit that back double bicep. All right. That's got to be the Lando, right? There's no way that's Ogre. Oh, I'm not Iron Ball on purpose. The Iron Ball got tricked. I'm supposed to be AV. All right. Come on. Get the highest possible roll. He protected. Okay. I need this highest possible roll. No! No! The airstreams, so that's going to be the end of, of our bug. That is the end of our bug, unfortunately. Ah, that was such a close game, too. If I if I didn't get that, uh, that item tricked... Oh, he's Life Orb? I have an idea. I have an idea, and it's called please, please, please somehow KO yourself. <laughs> I think he's got two more life orbs in him. If I get a double protect and he quakes twice, there's a chance. He could run out of water spouts as well. No, he can't, because he water spouted once, protected. Yeah, he can't. But I think this is still my play. He airstreamed. Okay. This is doable. Wait, 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 wait. This is doable. I need a double protect here because he's going to KO himself. Right? Right? Show me that life orb. He's going to KO himself if I get the double. And range should run out soon. We still have a light screen. And I'm very special defensive. I have two turns of light screen. And there are two turns of rain. Okay. This is going to be very close. Give me the double. I need this double. Fail. Ah, dang. Okay. That's fine. Good game. Goodbye, Lando. It looks like you got pranked. I did indeed get pranked. Pain. That was, however, the sickest showcase of our movesets so far. Even if we lost, that was the sickest showcase of our movesets. So this is just hyper offense. Um, versus this team, Grimmsnarl is going to be our best friend. Yeah, Grimmsnarl is definitely our best friend here. Um... 
Let's do this. I'm gonna go Grimmsnarl, Calyrex, Incineroar, Zacian, I believe. It's gonna be what I do here. No, no bug for us today, unfortunately. We couldn't bring the bug. Okay, yeah, that's pretty much the lead I wanted. Uh, here I'm just going to go for Light Screen and Snarl. And if I connect the Snarl, we're in a very good spot. Uh, as we all know, Kiram White typically just wants to Dynamax turn one half the time. Yeah, I'm real excited for I'm real excited for Gen Nine. Like Gen Nine is going to be insane. All right, uh, we just get our light screen off and we go for the snarl. It's at this point that I remind you all that this Calyrex is bulky, but specifically bulky on the physical side. A majority of our EVs are in physical defense and not HP. But we should live this, barring a helping hand. And even then, we might. Yep, there's the HH. Let's see if we can somehow tank. Alright, let's cut this damage roughly in half. And let's go for a Snarl to undo that Helping Hand effectively. Nothing dodges. Awesome. There's the Hailstorm. Let's see how much we tank. I'm going to say 75. Yeah, uh, pretty much right on the nose there, 75%. Okay. So here, I'm pretty inclined to just hand over my Calyrex. Because it should mean I get the Zacian in. And I get another Snarl. Unless they have Shadow Ball on Ndidi, I should eat whatever. And yes, we're going to be Dynamaxing Incineroar this game. <laughs> I regret to inform you we're going to Dynamax Incineroar this game. Oh, dude, I'm so excited for Overquill and, Ur and Ursa Luna. Well, not Overquill, I'm more excited for um, Hisui and Quillfish. Oh, let's go. Give me your Calyrex. Okay, Incineroar, that's fine. Because I got Zashin in second. Alright. That better be the Incineroar. Okay, let's go. <laughs> I was going to say, that'd be really bad. That'd be really bad if that wasn't the Incineroar. Let's go ahead and do this. Um, do I want Grimmsnarl or my Incineroar here? I think I want my Incineroar or let's go. Let's go Grimmsnarl. Let's go Grimmsnarl. He shouldn't stay in with the um, with the Kyurem here because Earth Power doesn't even come close to KOing me now. I'm gonna Sacred Sword. Do I? You know what? There's there's like no reason not to Behemoth Blade. The more I think about it, we've got no switch ins. I'm gonna Behemoth Blade and get off a of Reflect. 
Because if they do go for Earth Power, that's going to be really annoying. Or, you know, Max Quake. Cool. Let's get this thing off the field. And granted, and, and given how passive the rest of their team is and how the last, like, super scary Pokemon they probably have is Calyrex Shadow, I think we just win now. There's the parting shot. Fine by me. Yeah, Kyurem definitely needs speed control. You can run, like, you know, Helping Hand, Follow Me, and Didi, but it, it needs speed control more than anything. Whimsicott and Talonflame are phenomenal for that. Rumor has it the Gen 9 cover legend is Dragon Electric, potential Zacian counter. That doesn't counter Zacian. It gets play roughed and dies. <laughs> it just gets play roughed. <laughs> Okay, yeah, we go in Cinera here and we go for the Spirit Break. Zap Online, how you doing? Yeah, also Zekrom exists and it doesn't beat Zacian. Alright, uh, let's just go for the Spirit Break. And like I said, their whole team is super passive at this point. They already used their Dynamax, and I have two Dark types. They withdraw, that's fine. I mean, I'm just going to Spirit Break it. It'll eventually get worn down. Alright, it's gonna do six. Alright, I did like seven. <laughs> Parting shot. Dude, go ahead. I'm gonna I'm just gonna click snarl for the rest of the game. Did you move? The room looks different. Yeah, um I finished college, so I'm back at home now. Uh and this is actually the room that I, I grew up in. Well not really, you know. I was here through high school. Essentially from high school onward is this is my room. And I'm gonna be here for roughly a year. Uh, and my hope is to move out to Massachusetts after, you know, working here to save up a lot of money and then pay off my loans. Go ahead and parting shot me. You can't unsnarl your Calyrex. I'm not even going to Dynamax this game. I'm crazy. Watch him be Specs Mud Shot Helping Hand. What will Behemoth Blade, uh, Behemoth... Oh, he is Mudshot. Hello? That's a little scary. Uh, I wonder if Behemoth Blade, uh, Behemoth Bastion, Dynax Cannon will do if, uh, Dynamax isn't in Gen 9. Um, I'd imagine they would just be regular moves. Maybe they'll get, like, a 10 base power increase. Uh, but honestly, if I'm being real, I hope they get a 10 base power decrease. I think they're perfectly fine as 90 base power moves. All right, Snarl here. As previously stated, they lose. I still have the Zacian in the back. I just feel no need to go out into it. Are you going to find a science job or are you trying to get coin from YouTube thing? I am looking for a job in my field, and my field is physics, so that gives me a lot of options, honestly. I can be an engineer, I can work for, like, Boeing in that case, um, I can do some stuff with, like, fluid dynamics, I guess. There's a lot of places I can go. I can even be, like, a coder if I really want to, because I did a lot of, like, Python in, in college and Java and, for some reason, Fortran, like, that's a thing I had to learn. Uh, so, I, I, I have options. I don't know what I'm going to do quite yet. But we'll see. Right now, I, I actually have a job I'm starting tomorrow as like a temp job while I hunt for something that pays more. <laughs> yeah, I guess they did unsnarl the Cali. 
Can you say the same for Sunsteel Strike and Moongeist Beam? The reason I don't want those two moves to get nerfed is because the base power of their users uh, isn't, or the base attack of their users isn't literally 170 and gets a free plus one. You know what? 95. 95, so it's not just like a worse Iron Head. Or whatever. Is Iron Head 80 or 90? It's actually 80, so 90 is fine. Alright, let's Snarl here. Let's go for the Spirit Break. They're really dragging out this game. But I can sort of see why if they have Mud Shot. The NNL is a pretty steady job. I work at the Betis Atomic Power Lab in Pittsburgh, and it's a pretty nice area with a steady job. That's kind of cool. All right. But uh, if for, for the second half of your question, are you trying to make some coin through the YouTube thing? I am doubling down on YouTube while I'm here because I only work weekends. And by weekends, I mean Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Um, at this job, it's 10 hours a day and I get a half hour lunch. So that kind of sucks. However, it's like 5 a.m. to 3.30. So it's kind of not that bad when you really get into it. Um, I'm going to work out as soon as I get home and then stream at the same time that we've been streaming. Um, but that's only two days during the week that that matters, Monday and Tuesday. Then I have three days off. And those three days off, I'm literally just going to be recording videos and applying for jobs. So it's kind of whatever, you know? Alright, that's game. There's no way they don't forfeit this turn. What about Precipice Blades and Origin Pulse got shafted? Glacial Lance and Astral Barrage shouldn't be that powerful. Glacial Lance and Astral Barrage should have a base power decrease, in my opinion, or at the very least, an accuracy decrease. I would prefer base power because it reduces luck in the game, and that's just really cool. Are you going to stream on Wednesdays now? No, it's going to say this. It's going to stay the exact same schedule. Monday, Tuesday. Oh, he crit me. Uh, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. Uh, and that's just because Wednesdays, I basically have a, an entire day free, and I really like that. All right, don't crit me with Flare Blitz. Oh, no, I'm going to KO you. Cool. Yeah, no, you're no, you're no calorie, or you're no incinerator too. You're not living that. What's your workout routine though? Um, Monday I do chest and arms, uh, then go for a run, and then I walk for an hour. Uh, the run's usually pretty short because I haven't run in a long time. Uh, I'm trying to get back into it. I do like a mile, and then I walk for like a mile, and then I run another mile, and then I go home, and then I walk three miles after I eat lunch, and then I go home and shower, and then I stream. If you commission, you can join the Space Force. They don't even have a PT test. What? Can I actually join Space Force? Is that like a real job I can do? Are they going to take a dude with just a bachelor's in physics? It sounds like a lot when you hear it out loud, but it's not. A bachelor's in physics is pretty low end for physics. All right, good game.